All right. You know what time it is, Jack? It's time to talk about stuff while we play Pokemon. Oh, yes, but uh, that too, but also we're going on a field trip. We're going to see the New York deserts today. Very the desert, exciting. The deserts of New York. Like, not woodland, deserts. Very real. Very existent. Uh, oh, I, I already loaded. I didn't even realize. I was wondering, gee, my screen looks weird. Okay, so last time we cleared out the bug gym at the same time. Yeah, wait. Uh, I beat I beat him, right? Yeah, I did. So, can you let me go? Okay, yeah, okay, that's we how gotta, you do we it. We gotta find our way out again. God damn it. Alright, uh, while we're doing this, how about you tell me your bus story? My but bus story? You mean my car story? Yeah, that... that. I was gonna wait until we, like, got moving. Are you, uh... Okay, it's spring now. Sorry, it's no, summer, it's summer actually. now. Wish it was still summer. That's my favorite season. Man, we're, we're two months from Christmas, and I'm still having to use the air conditioner. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a really warm October. Can't wait till the snow apocalypse comes and shuts everything down. Yeah. Summer. It'll probably last until, like, April, given this trend. Pretty soon, summer and winter will have switched positions on the calendar. There'll be Christmas and everything will be, like, hot and sweaty, and then in July we'll just get some snowstorms that'll just cover everything. And all the Australians are gonna laugh. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Let's meet at the gate to Route 4. I'm assuming sure. that's north. All right, double check on uh Oh, that's right. This is the first time I'm streaming with my new setup, so everything's smaller than usual. Oh fuck. Oh, are you not You were using like the VR screen before, weren't you? I was using the uh big TV. You have a new I'm monitor a now? Mo I have a smaller monitor, but it's for my neck. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... Oh, uh, it's fine, I could... Yeah. That corner screen is very small. Yeah. Any chance you can, like, zoom it in a little bit closer? Uh... Yeah, that helps. I, I can actually... I can tell what... Alright, so you're injured. You're... Okay. Probably good to go back to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, always. So I now have to, again, relearn what all my weird randomized Pokemon are. I think I was planning to get rid of some of them, but I've now forgotten which ones. Uh, so, yeah, my, uh, my key, my key fob thing. I... Is that the ice cream man? Yes, it is. The ice... It's October, and they're still selling ice cream. It's mid-October. It's two weeks from Halloween. So, I, yeah, I recently had some issues with uh, with my car. And uh, what happened was I just I went out one morning, and I tried to start it, and it just it wouldn't turn over. There was nothing would happen. So I figured, logically, it must be like a battery issue or a starter issue. Those are the likely things. This was a day I had a bus route, so I had to call and say, Hey, hey, I uh, did have no way to get into work. So they got a driver who was already driving a bus route to pick me up and take me to the bus yard. So that oh I could my start God. my bus route. That's some kind of nice of them, I guess. Once I have once I have that, I can... Uh, once I have the bus, I can lay over, like, at my house. So I have that vehicle temporarily. But uh, I tried to jump it with the bus, and that didn't help anything. You I saw <laughs> Just imagine it get, like somebody looking out with like a bus with jumper cables to another car. And you know, the bus, the bus. Now, that, that didn't work. So, uh, I had, earlier in the morning, I had signed up for uh, AAA just as, as a worst-case scenario, 
just for a way to get into work and to deal with the car. So uh, yeah, I called them. pretty good. Some dude came out and he uh, checked the battery. And the battery was fine. So we deduced okay. it had to be a starter issue. So I then had to... Dude, obviously the car can't start. I can't move it from where it's parked at. I had to get it... Uh, the guy left, so I had to use a second AAA call to get it towed to the the shop in town, Art Morse. And uh, it took until later that day for them to figure out what was wrong with it. And they that said, uh, yeah, there's like a, there's some kind of fancy lockout feature on it. This is anti-theft mode is on. What? So apparently the my car is new enough or something that it has a thing where it will just refuse to start if you have a key without a special chip in it. It has like those those little things that Amiibo have in them that are oh, in proximity RFID to card? the key. Yeah. Which I didn't know about. I didn't know that was in my key fob. You think that that would be something you'd let the customer know? You know, like, in case like a key needs to be changed or something? Which, uh... Makes sense, because the day that I had tried to start the car was the first day I was using my just plain metal key. Because my key fob had broken and I had thrown it out. And you needed the key fob to start the car. Correct. Oh, that's... This is why you let people know what's important on your car and what's not. You don't, like, fucking just... So I thought at that point, well, maybe, maybe, maybe I can, uh... I fished the key fob out of the garbage, but then I remembered, no, I was wary of someone finding it and doing exactly that. So I thoroughly destroyed it when I threw it out. <laughs> so the key fob's gone. There's no recovering it. <laughs> Shit, okay. And the worst part is that the reason I got rid of it was because the piece of plastic that connected it to the key ring broke. It was perfectly functional. It just wouldn't go on my keychain key so anymore. So all of this was your fault. Well, I didn't. I didn't. No one told me that it was like a, a special. You need this to start the car, kind of key. Yeah, you, people. People should let. People make fun of Valve a lot for idiot proofing their games, but it's like you got to idiot proof shit for customers. Uh, if it's like if it's like a thing that you tend for everybody to use as much as possible. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Uh, you're going just straight up. Uh, all all routes lead north out of town. Okay, yeah, see, this is idiot proofing 101. You just go one direction and and you'll get there. So All I right. ultimately I had to call be, because I didn't have the key fab key fob anymore. Uh, I was told, well, you're going to have to con you're going to have to get a hold of Mitsubishi and have it brought there and pay for the towing because oh my uh, God. that that can only be done at a dealership getting a, a new chip key made from scratch. And, uh, I, I tried to use AAA for the towing again, and instead they called a locksmith, which I guess turned out for the better, because they were able to, they were able to, like, contact Mitsubishi and get the keys made. So, oh. after several dealings over the course of that entire day, I, I did get someone out to the car, and, uh, it was like a hundred dollars for the mechanic to say, "Yeah, it's uh, anti-theft," and about two hundred dollars to get the new keys. So that was about a three hundred, three hundred fifty dollar mistake because I threw out the key fob because the plastic broke. <laughs> Lesson learned. Uh, it, it, it checked it thoroughly to make sure you fucking need it before you toss it out. That's rough. That is that is a rough fucking day. Yeah. That that sounds like it really sucked. Apparently key fobs are very expensive. Yeah. Like, weirdly so. They're like, uh... They can run like 120 to $200 or something. I didn't actually get another fob. I just got the keys with the chips in them. So, uh... I had car troubles of my own one day. Yeah. I think I told you this off stream, but I'll tell it to you now that we're here. Um, I was driving down like uh, one day to work uh i was going on my commute i was on the freeway 
and I felt like rumbling. I'm like, oh man, tires are going. I should check that when I get off work. And I started rumbling more and more. I'm like, man, this feels familiar. This feels like the, and I go, oh no. And I pull over and I noticed the tire was just completely flat. Yeah. I had no idea how to change it. And so I ended up calling my parents. I'm like, hey, uh, I got a flat tire on the side of the freeway. What should I do? And they're like, oh, how far are you away from work? I'm like, eh, about a mile and a half. And they're like, they're like, well, I mean, you can just drive on it. I'm like, you can do that? So like, yeah, why not? How fast should I be going? They're like, not. probably, probably, what? Not, not fast. fast. <laughs> I end up like, I turn my emergency lights on and I start going slowly. I just, I go, I end up. I think what I ended up doing, because I was so scared, I just started driving on the side, on like the side way, like the shoulder of the road. You said like the that. tire was like shredded by the time you got there, right? By the time I got there, it was nothing but rim. I was just hearing this, the thump, the thump, the thump. And I was worried that like the rim was going to crack. And I get there, uh, parent comes, she ends up, uh, while I was working, installing the donut on it, which, you know, it was very nice of her. So you had one, you just, you didn't know how to change them out? No, I, I, I didn't have that, I didn't have the time, I had to get to work, um, which is, you know, I'm thankful that I, but they were understanding, they were like, wait, you drove on a rim, like, an, like a mile and a half? I'm like, yeah, and they're like, oh man, that, that, they were like, kind of impressed, but also like, really fucking freaked out. So... You did so get the I, tire changed later that day. Uh, well, right? uh, no, a couple days. Uh, the donut was good for like a while. Um, I end up. Uh, shit, I don't have any fighting moves, do I? You do. All right, rock smash. This. Yeah, I thought that was a. So, I end. Uh, so that weekend, because I worked, uh, I didn't work. I decided not to work on Saturday. Uh. To, I told them I got I got car shit I need to deal with, yeah. and I went to Les Schwab. They were able to save the rim. They looked at the rim. They're like, "This is still good. It's fine." So yeah, I got a new tire. It was cheaper than than uh, than what it could have been. Fortunately, oh you fucker. I oh man that sucks. How's the audio sound, Darian? Please one more. Yes, yeah, just you. barely. Again. <laughs> You're not gonna get any heals after this fight, by the way. She just says, "Hey, great work. Now I'm gonna leave now." And you have to go back to the Pokemon Center. All right. Oh, uh, I read a thing comparing uh, the new game Temtem to Pokemon. Yeah. Apparently, there's a lot of really nice quality of life stuff in Temtem. Cool. Usually, uh, usually with clone games like that, they add they take the uh, opportunity to add like good quality of life stuff. That's usually something that they have over like the games that they're things that like fans have probably been complaining about for years and just. The originals don't bother for some reason. Yeah. So, what, uh, what quality of life stuff are they? Are they? Uh, adding? uh. Well, the big one that just I remembered because of what we were. Hello. What's uh -oh. going on? Uh, you're you're hiccuping a little bit. So the big one you remembered. Uh, is that apparently you have an item that is uh, an instant full heal for your entire party. You can only carry one of them at a time, and it gets automatically refilled every time you go to a Pokemon Center equivalent. Oh, it's like an Estus Flask, but for your entire party. Yeah, so you just have That's one cool. free heal. Are you controlling mine? Jack? <laughs> I, th I think maybe my controller unplugged and replugged. Maybe that's what happened. Oh, yeah, that would... Yeah, go fix it. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, I, I, you know what? I fucked myself with the parsec because I realized I have it like on taking up half the screen instead of the full screen. I, 
for some reason. Is that what's going on? I... Here, zoom, if you zoom in again, it'll be a lot better. I'll be able to actually see shit. Yeah, I was just I was about to. So mine's working again. Is yours still... Hey, uh, cool. Still yep. good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. I would double check the audio levels because I'm paranoid. I had to change a bunch life. of stuff recently because of... Uh, I started using like a compressor on my microphone, which affected how it sounds in relation to like you guys in the game. I had to change uh, a bunch of stuff recently because of uh, I started using like a compressor on my microphone. Jack, say something. Something. Oh, work up. What does that do? What does that increase? Yeah, say something. Something. Stop listening to my beautiful voice and answer my question. Alright, sorry, what? What does work up do? Uh if you hit forget it, it'll tell you. You you're not gonna be forced to replace a move. Raise attack and special attack. Oh that's it. Uh night just just one level. Yeah. Nah, I'm not. I'm not good at that. Replace tackle, I guess, but yeah, it's not great. It's better to two stage. People always seem to use like two stage stuff, like uh, if they at the very least. Yeah, well, because they exist, or moves that increase two stats that are both useful, like uh, Dragon Dance's attack and speed, both yeah, of which are very good stats. Yeah, you just go faster and you get hit harder. That's good. The user is roused. Oh, you're fucked, Pansage. I'm sorry. Incinerate. Hello, Nava. I found the palm tree dinosaur in the desert. Makes sense. Good on you. Frisky. It's a frisky dinosaur. Oh, he dodged me. Now he's licking me. Get off me. I didn't know Fury Swipes could miss. Yeah, I think it's only like 85 accuracy. Oh. Alright, let's... Pig Knight. That is fire. I'm going to go for water. Oh, man. So, yeah. uh, update on Scarlet and Violet. Giraffery yeah. has an evolution now. A, a giraffe? Oh, that thing, the one with the tail? It actually has a long neck like a giraffe, and it's got like a chain chomp helmet. Oh, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool. What's its uh, evolution called? Uh. What 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 is it? Giraffe rig. So, farig giraffe. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm not joking, that's actually its name. I'm not, I'm not... What the hell? Okay, there we go. Fucking took you long enough. Missed the first Razor Shell somehow. Should we stream that when it comes out? What, Tim Tim? No, uh, the new Scarlet Violet. Yeah, I, I'd be down for it, considering I probably won't won't be ha able to, like, interact with it at all. Be something... Dragon grass. You know what? That's fitting. It's, always fun, it's always fun to stream new new games. It's just a matter of we have so few opportunities to stream these days. Yeah, I'm, I'm back to work again, and I have to... Uh, I'm dealing with stuff. I'll so. never be a strong trainer like you or Sharon or Iris. But I've met a lot of people, and I've been thinking about what I want to do in life. I want to be a lumber Jane. And that's okay. Tropius that's can fly. It is. It is. That's, uh, that's what makes him such a great Pokemon. Like, most Pokemon are just two things put together, but he's three things. He's a dinosaur, he's a plant, and he flies. <laughs> he's not a flying type. He is. He's a uh, grass flying originally. Oh. 
All right. All right, let me, let me get a refresh on what my Pokemon are. Okay. I have a uh, Kadabra with some decent Kung Fu moves. And he should... I have evolutions turned on, and in both... Ver that's the one thing that's modified in both our versions. Trade evolutions are disabled, and I think everything evolves by, like, level 40. Because for some reason, things evolve at super high levels in this generation. You think Temtem's gonna fucking have uh, trade evolutions or some shit? I don't know, but as long as it's, like... As long as it continues to be supported and there's like an online trading system, it's not as bad. I don't, I don't want that. I, just, yeah. I never did. You, yeah, you still can't control who you trade with. I hope not. Yeah. <sighs> oh, sorry. I heard otherwise positive things about it, so I'm a little curious. Yeah, I want to play it. What was the one? Uh, Temtem is not the one with like. The guns. That's a different one. No, that's a different one. Gun Pokemon. We just literally did Pokemon with guns and everybody was like, actually, what the... Sad Pokemon what? working assembly lines. That, that game was like... They, they made the game that looked uh, unique, at least. That looked like it, it, it caught your eye. I am not at all interested in Pokemon gun games. It, it's funny. Yeah, it's it funny. It's like Pokemon Fortnite. It, th th that's clearly the attempt on what they're trying to combine to capitalize on. Yeah. <sighs> Remember when Will Smith was like, you know what I like in this uh, YouTube rewind? Like some Fortnite. Yeah. And then everybody was like, you know what? YouTube rewind. Uh, fuck that. They stopped doing that. They finally got the message. I don't because think they ran still... that shit to the yeah. they ran that shit to the ground. Like nobody wants it anymore because they ruined it. Never gotten a black white that much. Landscape and plot was meh. Wow, another person who doesn't love this gen. That's I... hey, buddy. I'm ambivalent myself. This is Jack's first time playing, so I'm trying not to be too cynical. Hey, Jake, where are you? I've been waiting for you to get the insect. That's the hard rival. That's the glasses guy. Okay. Oh yeah, him. You can tell by the combat accordion. Why do I have oh, these two? Oh, kind of. How difficult. Come on. Oh shit, sandstorm. I don't actually know why I have Gyarados and uh, Crawdont here. The other ones are all usable. They're all they're all decent. Oh crit! Oh, you're still alive! Damn it! Oh, that's right. You also don't like the later gens. I do. I, I like the ones after this one again. And for that is water. So I'm gonna need grass. Oh shit, I don't have grass. They really put the rivals just back to back at this point. Yeah, you're, you know what, you're good. Oh. Bucky! Come on, you asshole, let's do this. Oh, mine's got a cocoon, he's pretty tough. Oh, special attack. Oh, I'm good. I have yet to get any, like, really broken Pokemon in this run yet. Like, the best one I have is this dragon dude. He's got a sleep move, and he's got pretty decent ice attack. What is this again? Chip away? Uh, it's just a solid attack move. Oh, yeah. It's not affected by stat changes. Positive and negative. I think I can out-damage him. Yep, I win. Uh-oh. Servine. Yeah, 
It's nice when you can tell a Pokemon's type by its name. I kid, I couldn't. That's why I sent out Kenny Rogers. Oh, sorry, Kerry Rogers. Fine. Fuck. Yeah, you're right. Oh, well. Oh, God, everything's a ghost. I can't punch it with Kadabra. Kadabra is being very useless against ghosts, just like the anime said he would. Oh, this is not going to end well for me. I got to switch out. Good thing Goku is still pretty... Oh, it's stat changes. Point. Attack and special attack. Alright, come on. Die already. So what's your setup now? You just replace the TV with a smaller monitor? So I can look up, because if I have the big TV, I don't have anything that's like stable enough to support it. I'm gonna keep an eye out for like a milk crate or something to put on top of the stand. And then that way I can put the big TV on there so it'll be elevated and up best of both worlds. You know, like a like a like a lazy degenerate. Okay. Oh, the combat is still going. Life hard. Uh, dark type. Have you and Jack considered playing fan-made Pokemon games? We've talked about them. We just have yeah. so few opportunities to stream anymore. Like we'd never get through them. Yeah. What was your Is favorite they... Pokemon Uranium? <laughs> that's, not, that's not my favorite, but that that one's funny. Got like irradiated Pokemon. Was that the one with the the haunted Pokeball, the ball and chain thing? Oh yeah. Why did I choose you again? I. I... All right. Back to, back to fighting. Oh hey, a four-way communication. Sorry, three-way. Oh, you, you're tormenting me. I got you. Wake up, slap. No. Oh, okay. Sure, That's use an Estus Flask right about now. Estus Flask. Is that your last Pokemon? No. I still had a lot of options, but I... Impressive, but why can't I win? Because I'm winning. It's the trust! Yeah, that's the conclusion everyone seems to come to. Bianca didn't hear the call. I wonder what she's caught up in. I love for the nice trainer to like make a face heel turn. She just gets caught up in like Team Plasma's shit. Yeah, I joined Team Plasma. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Like, oh man. Team Team Yell were were great because they they weren't like evil at all. They were just really big like fans of like of like a certain trainer, and that was all that was going on. Yeah, kind kind of made it pointless for them to exist, but that's fine. We had a, we had uh, the evil corporation as like the other team evil. Good old Team Evil. How long before we just get that? Everything is evil. I'd love uh, for like a, a team evil trainer to come up 
to you and before he like challenges you to battle, he yells out, Welcome to Darkness World. Team Evil sounds like a like a rival team. Uh, if uh, if they if it was in the Venture Brothers verse, yeah, that's about right. Okay, going north again. Just back and forth. All right, now can we explore the the desert? I want to see the New York Pyramids. The Pyramids of New York. <laughs> Disclaimer, it's probably not worth going to the New York Pyramids. Ancient Egyptians immigrated here first. You mean Jesus was in America? Dum 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 dum. Jesus. They say in heaven, love comes first, and Jesus uh, made heaven a place on earth, I guess. Oh, uh, speaking of uh, people talking about God, I showed you a couple of songs from the Crash Test Dummies. Yeah. I, I want to hear your thoughts on... Uh, oh, oh, that counts as grass, okay. Yeah, there's a, like, desert sand. There it is. Oh, scraggy. There's the gangster lizard. Yeah, I want you in my desert, see? Yeah, so so thoughts. Uh it's it, it's fine. I, it's fine. That that, that one song mm, 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 was a little weird. <laughs> like like the song just can you describe the song for me, please, for for all the people watching. Uh I said it sound it sounded like it was trying to set up an anime with the lyrics. Yeah, that's what you said. Mostly because uh, of, like, the, the boy with white hair and the girl with body markings. That sounds like a very anime premise. It's like, the th there's three of them, right? And, uh, and, like, one of them has, like, their, their hair turned white after a car crash. Mm -hmm. And then the second one has, had, was revealed to have birthmarks all over their body when they were born. Mm -hmm. And then the, they were both like, yeah, you know what, though? But we're not that other kid. His parents go to church and they have a fucking fit. Mm -mm -mm. I love the guy in the singer's voice, though. I, I, in my mind's eye, when I first heard that as a kid, I, I was picturing like, a completely different fucking, like, uh, person. Singer. Like, he, like a guy who was, like, all bearded and stuff. But, but looking at him, he looks like, like he could have been, like, a pretty boy, like, pop star, almost. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm playing a randomizer, and the areas are all themed. Apparently, I got a plant-themed desert. <laughs> this place is abundant with grass life. It's it it's like that. They're all it's all a bunch of like angry, hostile plant mods trying to fight for water, like in Dune. That's right. Everything on this planet has evolved to to kill humanity. <laughs> this is Earth, by the way. I love that line. I love, I love, if there's something I have a guilty pleasure of, it's like weird fucking world building, either through people not thinking things through or otherwise. 13, like a guy... 13, 13. <laughs> the, the Mayan calendar was wrong. We were supposed to add days. It's fucking dumb. Uh, this is the last generation that the randomizer works on, and it is also the one with the most Pokemon, because it's got everything from Gen 1 to Gen 5. Hmm. Where's your baggy pants lizard? His, his name's gonna be Mac. Return of the Mac. Return. Is it Little Mac or someone else? Uh, the guy, the guy who's Mark Morrison, the Mac. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not grass, it's a ground rock type. I see. Its breath has the fantastic ability to revive dead plants and flowers. It's very characteristic of a rock a... type. You know what that is? Yeah? You, you know what that is? That's that's basically a pseudo-wudo again. Yeah? It's just pseudo- it's just like, pseudo-wudo's like, you want to meet my extended family? I don't think there was a pseudo-wudo in a uh, Mystery Dungeon game, but what do you think they would sound like? 
Uh... You know, the, 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 you know, the weird thing that first comes to mind is, like, Ninja Murasaki from Dragon Ball. Like, a, 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 a big goober who thinks he's real sneaky and, and stealthy, even though everyone can obviously tell what he is. We know you're, you're a tree. Ah, but I am not a tree. I am a rock. You fool. What has it got? It's got Earthquake. 50 power. 50 power. Er that's, that's not an Earthquake. That's a Tremor. Revenge! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, there's this movie called A Fish Called Wanda. Yeah. It has, it had like, a couple of Monty Python dudes in it and a, and a couple of American dudes in it. And uh, I don't remember the context, but, like, one of the characters was, like, tied to a chair. And he has, like, he was in front of a fish tank, right? And, and it was his fish. It was all his fish. And the American dude was like, you got to tell me what I want to know. I was like, or what you'll do, what? And the guy had a stutter, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and so, and so he's like, or else I'll, I'll eat your fish. He's like, you wouldn't dare. He's like, oh, I will. And he starts eating the guy's fish in front of him live. Yeah. Like, like a fucking maniac. Like a clownfish in Minecraft. Yeah. Even his favorite fish, uh, the, 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 uh, Wanda fish. And, uh. Is that its name, or is that a type of fish? The fish was called Wanda. Yeah, that's his name. And so, at the very end, like, uh, the guy was, like, about to kill, like, another main character played by John Cleese of uh, Monty Python fame. Yeah. And then the guy whose fish got eaten was in, like, a steamroller who's charging at him slowly, going, like, REVENGE! REVENGE! And, uh... And it was, it was, uh, unfortunately, the guy managed to step on, the guy who ate the fish was stepped on wet cement, and he couldn't get free because it apparently hardened around his feet, and he's, like, trying to convince him not to, like, run him over. It's like, you won't do it, you don't have the guts, charging. Oh, oh, you do have the guts. And then finally, before he, like, reaches, like, he goes, I'm sorry I ate your fish! Still comes over, what do you want from me? I said I was sorry! And then he slowly runs him over. But you know what? He was still alive because enough of the cement was wet that he just kind of got shoved in it. He's like, man, this day sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I hear revenge. I hear the guy charging at a guy with a steamroller moving really slowly going, REVENGE! I was thinking good. the guy in Venture Brothers. Phantom the Revenge. Oh, I yeah. am REVENGE! Oh, yeah, that's right. The guy who lost his fucking mind and and he like when he made friends with like inanimate objects and he might his insanity might have actually given him given them like personality and stuff in power <laughs> but shadow claw sounds great or it sounds okay it's 95 power but i already have a better one so did he lose his phantom limbs i don't remember that character's arc uh nava the randomizer is a single program that works on generations 1 through 5. Just all of them. It can randomize Pokemon encounters. It can randomize move typings, move learn sets, evolution levels, evolutions. You have Magikarp evolve into Mewtwo. It can do lots of wacky shit, and this is actually the most tame settings that I've had it on for a randomizer stream. I think it was probably craziest for our Gen 3 play. He is crook. Alright. Well, so far, so good. I'm, uh... Oh, no. Um, last gen, he knew Hyper Beam. This gen, he knows Aero Blast. What is it with these super powerful Ammonites? They they know the old uh, ways. Oh, hey, it's a... Oh, it's standing on all four, on, on twos. Are you worn out? Oh, there's, there's a, a Pokemon Center up here this entire time. Is Fuck. that in like the ruins area? It's uh, in a shack, a little bit off the road. Okay, well, I gotta find that shack. 
There's no PC. Do you need a PC? No. Not yet. I... Hello. Oh, that's right there. I talk to you, buddy. I'll have a battle using my freshly caught Pokemon. This is a great idea. This is gonna be a bunch of fucking Magikarp. Oh, that's not a Magikarp. It's just gonna show off the two types of Basculin. I should probably... Uh, no, I can't, because that's water. Oh, god. Wish I had some... Wish I had some grass types. Fuck. Alright, uh... I wonder what the final opinions on uh, Legends Arceus ended up being. People liked it. I think uh, Dunkey, who's like very, very like critical about the games he plays, said that he liked it more than like mainline Pokemon games. Okay. Guess what, Psybeam? Oh, you're just. I saw an article along oh, the lines fuck. of, can we finally admit that Pokemon Legends was a bad game? But that's just, you know, one guy's opinion. Can we finally admit that? And then I just go, no. And I slowly walk away like, as if I drop some wisdom. You know what quality of life I'm looking forward to, Sun Moon, when I don't have to have a Pokemon slot dedicated to a dude just knowing all the HM stuff? That'll be nice. I don't, I, I never like just HM blocking stuff. This and Animal Crossing are both series that I feel are just very needlessly slow to implement very obvious quality of life changes that every player of the game agrees on. Ah, shit, I got headbutted. Headbit, if you will. Because they don't really have to. They can be safe and just kind of keep putting games out and people will still buy them. Yeah, they can... They have to really fuck up in order to, like... I need Which to, is kind uh, of a historical trend with Nintendo. They have to have a Wii U before they can get their shit together and give us a Switch. Yeah. God, the Wii U ended up being such a failure, and... Which is a shame, because there was a lot of, like, good games on it. Wonderful 101, Smash Brothers, Bayonetta 2. Oh, by the way, I, I, I learned the reason why that one uh, woman is not in Bayonetta 3. Yeah, I, I saw the... Uh... Yeah, that sucks. That, that I guess. sucks that they would just do that. They offer, what, offering her just $4,000? $4,000 for about a month of work is 48000 a year, which is more than I make. But they were just... Just a one lump sum of that. No, I mean... If you were... If you were, like, an, an iconic character, and they, they would be hard plus pressed to replace you, I'd, I'd just say, yeah, just pay them what, what they want. And they weren't really hard-pressed to replace her, though. That was also, like, her only role. So, uh, no, I would not be picky in that situation. Uh. Then we must disagree. Huh? Oh, no, I got bit, which means... Oh, shit. Am I, am I gonna lose him here? Just all flinch moves. This thing doesn't evolve. Like, this is it. With the fish? Yeah. So what, what? what's the point of it? There's a lot of... A lot of specifically fish Pokemon that don't really have a point. They have, like, a fish quota to meet every generation. Which they've actually, like, gone on record of saying, well, there's a, there's a, a very large, like... A, a large variety of sea life, so we need to reflect that in the in the Pokemon pool. Oh, you mean sea life doesn't really evolve, considering that there's sea life from like from like millions of years ago that still exists today. So yeah, makes sense. I have no idea. This owl could be anything. This could be a dragon. <laughs> Secret dragon owl. That should be a prompt I should put in, like, an image generation. Secret Dragon Owl. It wasn't until Legends that uh, the Basculin finally got, like, a decent version. It has that, like, uh, it has, like, that Legion form with, like, a thousand dead souls of other Basculins or something. 
Oh, that's that's pretty rad. Can we please admit that to Pokemon Arceus was a bad was a bad game? Dude, the Pokemon has like a Souls of the Dead Baskin using it. Like, no, it's pretty rad. It looked very repetitive, and it looked very, very empty. I haven't played it, but I can see how people could levy arguments against it. Almost, almost like uh, if you try to make a game that appeals to everyone, it'll appeal to fucking no one. Like, like I can, I know, I know that uh, Cruelty Squad managed to find an audience, but I also understand that not everybody's gonna fucking love it. Yeah. Yeah, we're just getting more crum crumogeny. I don't know. Uh. Did you hear? Are you still uh, there? Yeah, I am. Okay. Did you hear the uh, the Alan Moore interview? Alan Moore. Oh, uh, the comic comic dude. No, I didn't. Yeah, the uh, author of of Watchmen recently yeah. had an interview where he went on he went on record saying something along the lines of uh, the cultural obsession with superhero stories is like a type of infantilism and can lead to fascism. Hmm. Uh... Infantilism to who? I thought infantilism was like something you did to somebody else, not like something you could do to yourself. Oh, yeah, I... In the context of, like, the superhero thing doing that to the general public, I guess. Oh, yeah. I think the, like, the idea is that like, su superhero stories are they're nice because there's a very clear and obvious bad guy who can be defeated by a punch to the face. Yes. Which yeah. is not really reflective of real life. Yeah, it's not. It's certain interest groups in real life would like to think it's that simple. It's but, not it's uh, never that simple. Yeah. Yeah. It's a complex uh, matter, but I see where he's coming from. Oh, no. Alan Moore knows his fucking shit when it comes to, like, like that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, a good example uh, is just, like, yeah, you, sometimes you'll get Superman, sometimes you'll get the Homelander. A.K.A. the worst person in fucking comics. Besides maybe Omni-Man. I think I think I'm just tired of superhero stories in general. I'm finally getting to that point where it's like, hey, why don't we do something else? You want to make like a big epic story? There's other genres you can make a big epic story about. What about a big epic? You know what? What's a better like? Uh, what's a more grounded version of like a superhero story? A spy thriller? Yeah. Spy is like spies in in movies and stuff are basically superheroes, but like with more moral ambiguity. That's the other thing it has to do with, the, like, superhero cultural phenomenon, is just familiarity. Yeah. That's, because that's, that's that sells. Which yeah. is... Oh, I th oh, did my controller do the thing again? I might need to get a new cord for this. It It's an Xbox One controller, it's official, but, like, the cord doesn't stay in it very well. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that has to do with the recent, like, all the stuff going on with Warner, the mergers, the, uh... Yeah, everybody about merging. about the Cartoon Network studio merging with, uh... The Wait, Warner who? Animation Studio. Wait, Cartoon Network and Warner are soon going to be owned by the same people? Uh, Cartoon Network has always been owned by Warner. I mean, it's, it's stuff is in multiverses. Oh, yeah, that's right. But uh, it had three animation studios. It had the Cartoon Network studio. It yeah. had Warner Brothers Animation, which does stuff like superhero movies and uh, like Iron Giant. And it yeah. has Hanna-Barbera. So those are the three. Mm -hmm. And, and the, two so of them are fusing. Oh, my God. They're downsizing so, and merging those two studios. That's not going to be good for long-term quality. I don't and think. people are understandably worried that it's going to mean 
a lot fewer original properties like you know Cartoon Network is known for. People and, are hungry for originality. Like people say, people are, are easy to like easy to spout out like, oh, uh, they're gonna do this because familiarity sells, and it's just like, well, people are actually hungry for original content. You know what original? I mean, thing you I'm say that, but familiarity does sell. Like if they do go all in on just the superhero properties and everything, they will make bank. That's until, kind of until the problem. It dries up. Until it just dries up. Until people. I would like so it to. Out. I would love it to dry up. I'm waiting for it to happen. I don't know that it ever will. Consume product and then get excited for more. Don't question it. Quality consume product and then get excited for more product. Whatever. Um. Oh man, there's a there's a movie I want to see that's coming out soon called yeah. The Menu. Called what? The Menu. The Menu. Yeah, it's uh, about like this. Uh, this group that goes to see this like world famous like chef gastronomist chef whose food is compared to like like art yeah and they go there and things get like go wrong and every time i hear people talk about the movie spoiler free they go it's not what you think you just you just described <laughs> the you just described the italian restaurant episode of jojo I don't think that's gonna happen, but <laughs> I know it's just a lot of parallels between what you just said. <laughs> like, oh, uh, like that's the thing. You hear like, uh, like restaurant uh, movie and horror. The first thing you think of is, oh, the the food is soylent green. Yeah. And and and, and it's, it's just hard like, not oh. to. But then every but but yeah. So so when when it, they said explicitly like it wasn't about that, I'm just like, oh, I'm interested now. He's not, he's not cooking people up and surfing them? That's cool. That's actually original. So yeah, that that sounds like that would be something right up my... Why the fuck did I challenge the other fishermen? I have nothing to deal with. Oh my god. Alright. Ah, yes, the rare sand fish. Dude, you fight a land shark? That exists? Well, it was... It exists as of last gen. So I could find one if I haven't already. I love I love the idea of land shark. Just like, where are you? I'm a shark. Shark are fish though. Like they breathe water. So does that a land shark would have to breathe sand? Yeah. Oh uh, well. Okay. I would I would assume a land shark would be closer to like a frog than like an actual fish. Or like uh, a they, land they... whale. Well, land, well, I say shark. Well, there's that that thing that people say about sharks about how sharks have to constantly keep moving forward in order to like survive. Yeah. But I I think that's just a, a myth. Yeah. I have a feeling it's just a fucking myth. I'll take a bite out of crime. Where's the healing shack? I just showed you. Like I, I know, okay. I'm, just, I'm just trying to get back there. How is this fish faster than me? It's like I'm like several levels above it. You gotta give it something, Jack. Dead. Oh, the sand took me out, but I won. No, oh, Kenny Rogers. Wait, do I send something out and it's gonna... Oh no, there's another one. Fucking hell. Has WWE done anything stupid lately? So... Oh man, actually, I don't think... I haven't heard anything, like, like really bad. Um, I think their booking's actually slowly improving now that Triple H has taken over. Oh, he's, Vince. he's taken over after... Is, is Vince, Vince officially gone? Or is he just yeah, temporarily now? He's he's gone. He's gone, gone. But he's being inducted into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> what was the what was the scandal? It was like an embezzlement thing. Uh, he was using com company funds to pay off like his. Oh my god! I'm getting, I'm getting luck dumped on. I'm gonna have to switch Pokemon again. 
he was using company funds to like uh to like pay off like uh sexual liaisons that may or may not have been consensual ah and uh so embezzling plus that... other stuff that's also bad yeah but they were more concerned about the embezzling and and yeah that was just like yep you're gone fuck you goodbye you just got trampled by an elephant. I I wanna I wanna grow my dragon. I've got Pokemon that aren't like don't have any super broken moves, but they're all pseudo legendary, so they're gonna have great stats. Level twenty one. When okay, wait. Uh <laughs> I like these fish things. I got lots of them. This is so annoying. Come on, fucking stop with the fish. Have I sold you on Basculin yet? What other fish Pokemon are in this gen? The, uh, the ghost jellyfish originates here. Fucking die! Oh my god. And it's, it's faster! I have nothing that's strong against it. If I had a grass type, this would have been a lot easier, but unfortunately, I don't. Am I gonna be flinched? Nope, good. Back to the asshole. shack. Going back to the shack. I am uh, well, very close to finishing the final book of Mario highlights. We're looking good. Cool. Do we ever finish that, or do we just say no? Fuck it. No, we did. Okay. Good. Kicking and screaming, we finished it. That was, that was rough. I'm, I'm still um, in the middle of... I started uh, Book of Mario 64. I need to force myself to continue. Oh, this thing! Another fire type. Where's all the grass type? Did I Not in the fucking more? desert, that's where, Jack. <laughs> Where's maybe the grass like an Pokemon? <laughs> maybe, maybe there's like an Oddish or something? Actually, something there is a cactus. There's a Maraca cactus. I think it is up near the pyramid area. Oh, that instantly killed it. Whoops. Doesn't evolve, it's just that, but... That was... A oh, horsey God, is yeah. relatively unchanged. Still water type. I can't see up ahead because of the stand storm. Let's battle. Horsey, what are you like? It's a little stubborn. Calm, calmly stubborn. Wait, what? What's its item? Wait, why is everything in fucking water type? Dark gun? I can't read that. Dark gun? I can't see what items it's holding. Dark gym. Oh, okay, that may, yeah, that's something. Sp uh... I am or... dark gun. Let Bloody me water. shoot you now. It got, it like a, a dark gun sounds like a fucking sword art online villain. I was gonna say My Hero Academia. Right, By I'm the way, there's a there's a there's a bit character. There's a fucking hero named Native. In that. Native. Yeah. Native he looks what? exactly like you're imagining. <laughs> Fucking Dragon Ball, the dubbers, they see that guy's like, he's, he's being We're looking by for a... a large native man. I'm just like, native what? This isn't Earth. There's no America. Native what? That, native I guess, Earthian? Does that imply that there's a similar history to that particular Dragon Ball continent? Oh, you mean like, you mean like fucking there's been like some weird, like... Like an oh, expansion that... with the natives being driven back? That would suck. 
Except it's all martial arts based. Keep rocking. It's not like a whole world of Dragon Ball is martial oh, arts based. Oh, that confusion. Look, it's still... It's kind of ambiguous, come to think of it. Like, early Dragon Ball, you're just kind of running around a not very clearly defined world with... Oh, there's, there's like bandits and things. Big dragons, furries. Yeah, but there's also modern cities and stuff. And we kind of focus more on that as the series advances. Until it's just kind of vaguely futuristic Earth with ordinary humans. We colonized everything. It was like a like weird turn of the century before the Industrial Revolution. Oh, it's no. A Red Dead Redemption Dragon Ball. This is your redemption, Goku. Us furry cowboys are a dying breed. Ain't gonna see be much of it, much land left for us in about 50 years. World's changing, and I don't like it. If I don't, if I don't kill Vegeta, then my family's gonna come to harm. Western Goku. Government's having some problems with the Saiyans, Mr. Goku. I believe we're gonna need your uh, your assistance, your services, to hunt down your old kind. And then we'll let you and your and your family go. And believe me, we want her to go. She's fucking nothing but trouble. <laughs> Just scream at us all the time. I feel sorry for anyone who tries to take Chi Chi hostage. No one has. A she couple has villains enough. have like knocked her out, but no one has taken her hostage. She has just enough combat experience to make it like and like not, not worth, worth it. it. Yeah. This guy's a Frieza soldier. Looks like even I could take him. Hercules like fighting zombies. Like this is the happiest day of my life. Something I can finally fight. I don't love a lot of super. And the directions yeah, it took, you... but I'm I'm very glad we finally got a badass female character in Dragon Ball. It oh, took yeah. long enough. We got two of them actually, and then they confuse into one even more powerful badass female character. Yeah, the 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 Earth Six, uh, the Universe Six Saiyans are great. Uh, those were those were a great addition. Okay, cool. Is this am I finally gonna fight a Rock type trainer? Yes. Finally, that was the biggest. That was the biggest disappointment about GT, which I otherwise liked, is just them doing nothing with Pan. They did more with Pan and Super than they did in GT. She was a great character, just not in combat. She did yeah. fucking nothing in combat ever. She had to have her uh, her like, oh, he's it's sturdy. Fuck. Oh, you didn't endeavor? Well, you're you're dead. I can't come up with a design for Super Saiyan, so she just won't get, won't get one. Sorry. That was that was such a fucking cop out. I can't come up with one. Maybe maybe outsource that shit to somebody with ideas. No. Okay. Oh, that's right. My Absol is flaming. I'm a gallant Absol. Touch me and you'll get burned. That 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 was the greatest cameo. I was not expecting. I'm like, oh, I'm playing this uh, Genesis like top-down Legend of Zelda game. But I see fucking Sonic to something. I'm like, is that fucking Sonic? Speed on on a similar is that fucking Sonic moment. The last episode of Megas XLR. Oh yeah, that's right. Already the Aardvark. Artie the- no, Artie the... something Aardvark. The... Oh, the- yeah, Artie the adorable Aardvark. That was yeah. his full name. You gotta say the whole thing. Just a very weird-looking, obvious Sonic knockoff at a knockoff Macy's Thanksgiving parade. Must move quickly! With the uh, Mickey Mouse pants. Yeah. <laughs> and, then it, and then it turned into a, a giant, like, spore creature. There was, like, the Flavio Brothers. Yeah, the Flavio Brothers. Um, Detective Duck killed all the fucking parade balloons. And meanwhile, everybody was just watching this cheering. 
No wonder the fucking dwarf took them over. They were too complacent. It's a fighting Jack. Type. Yes. Jack, it's a vulture baby that's wearing a skull for a diaper. Oh, that's cool. It's just... It's a reverse Q-bone. Wearing his mother's skull as a diaper. No. Is that how that work? I think the mother wears the skull on the head. Hopefully it's not the same skull. Let's clean it out, it's bone. Oh what? I get I get buffeted by the sandstorm while in alternate space. <laughs> Weather's so bad it, it transcends dimensions. Finally, defensive. I'm kind of sad they never made that joke in Abridged. No no one ever actually got sent to another dimension. Hey, I want did my, they even uh, reference it? Don't think they did. They ever. referenced the, the like, cargo robot. They referenced Big Green. They didn't they reference Tien regrowing his arms. Or the way of the dinosaurs lines. I love the, the best parts of Dub Dragon Ball they did reference that. They were really conservative with the, the fake death analogies. They didn't bring those up much at all. Just want a scene of, like, Kui getting sent to another dimension. He just wakes up, and it's just, like, some, like, uh, like off the side of the freeway. Like, where the fuck am I? You're in San Andreas. <laughs> or, or... Or even he wakes up, and he's just isek to a fantasy world or some shit. Speaking of, we started uh, Amphibia. Yeah. yeah. Which is a, another, along with Owl House, a cartoon isekai. Isake. There's all the rage these days. Isekai. It's actually, it's actually really good. I'm like, I'm really liking it so far. The sense of humor is like, it's got, a, it's got the best sense of humor out of all of the, those shows. I think. It's not as plot so heavy far. as the other kind of Disney shows, but yeah, I agree. I think it has better sense of humor than. You little, send little another fucking house. water type at me, I swear to god. Tim Burr. Thank you. Thank you. Tim Go Burr. Uh, Star Versus I enjoy for the plot and the themes, but its sense of humor is very hit and miss lol random at times. Yeah. Uh oh, fight. And Steven Universe is comparatively just like, uh, not a Disney show, but comparatively dry with a sense of humor. It, it feels more written for adults than a lot of those other shows. Yeah, and I, I caught that. Uh, Amphibia, however, it's uh, it's jokes are it's jokes land quite a bit. It's, it's so very far. very wet. It's very damp sense of humor. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yeah. Now, Gravity oh. Falls was it was fine. It was a cartoon. It had, it had a lot of... It had some, like, episodes I was not a fan of, though. I kind of agreed with that. I think it was the So This Is Basically guy who said that Mabel just got less and less likable over the course of the series. It's kind of annoying as fuck. Like, even Star would basically tell her, Whoa, lady, you gotta chill the fuck out. Star grew up, which I'm very happy about, because she had a lot of really insufferable moments early on in the series. The final, like, the final, like, arc of, uh, fucking Gravity Falls was all Mabel's fault. Did you, you never, I actually watched it, did you? I, I ran a synopsis, because I just did not, I dropped off after the fucking, uh... You dropped off immediately before a very dumb, very Takahashi romantic hijinks episode. Yeah, I, I, and I, I'm gonna spoil this right now. I, I suspected it was coming because I heard about an episode like that, and I'm like, oh, is this episode coming? No it, thanks. This I'm, is when no. Dipper accidentally becomes a player and everybody shits on him. And it's like, what? We didn't need that in this show. Wasn't this show about like exploring mysteries in the Pacific Northwest? It did what have was... an in story wise. It did have a very interesting, well written conclusion. It was not a Deus Ex like early star loves to do. Yeah, but I don't... I don't know. Like, 
it, there's just a lot of combinations that just made me like lose my interest in it. Yeah. Which is a shame because I, I I really liked uh, some of the episodes they did. I didn't like other episodes they did, and and then it just got to a point where I just dropped it. You know what, though? At least you don't, you're not dragging me kicking and screaming through that, as opposed to Miraculous Ladybug, where you're just like, no, you gotta watch it. Well, I decided to keep to, like, watch ahead of where we dropped it, because it had just gotten pretty bad early Season 3. Yeah, that, that's... it. And I suddenly started running into, like, a string of good episodes. Yep. And are just and some of them are admittedly pretty good. Fucking Max doing the robot as he's transforming into like a fucking superhero. We're gonna get another it... awful string. I just know it's gonna come. Oh yeah. Uh, it has a string of good episodes now, but it hasn't. It hasn't learned anything. The writer's gonna do the same stupid shit again. There, the show has like has like very little continuity. It has continuity where it doesn't matter, and discontinuity where you should have continuity. It's a show that's obviously written to keep itself going to continue selling, is what it's unfortunately turned into. Like, that's the big problem with Miraculous. Be, it it has some interesting good. ideas, but it's not willing to have any permanence anymore. Yeah, it's like... And I bet there's gonna be people that uh, that are gonna watch this who have watched it and be like, laugh, just be like, oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't think that many people watch it to the day. Which is kind of, I, kind of weird to say, I guess, because it's apparently France's biggest cultural I export right now, but... Right? That and not Code Leo... I like Code Lyoko better, honestly. I, and I, I I say that not because it came out first, but because it feels like a well a better written show. And it actually is allowed to change up the status quo. And there's a lot of likable characters in it. Even though... You know what? A sissy is is more likable than fucking Chloe. Yeah. Sissy, sissy is the nicest mean girl in anything ever. Uh, debatable, but she is very nice. I just because I think there are nicer mean girls. Such as, well, like Pacifica. I, I no, not Pacifica. Not not immediately. Okay, if sissy wasn't me. I, okay, sis. I will. She was usually pretty reasonable. And all she really wanted was to be in with the cool kids, and they just wouldn't let her. Well, because the scars were in too deep. That's they, right, she did one really bad thing early on in their relationship, and they just never gave her another chance after that. And you know what's funny is that she doesn't even remember doing that. It's a bewildering punishment for her. Which is, like, extra spicy. At the very end, you know, they were just like, okay, fine, you can hang with us. Threat's over, it's not like you can dime us out. Like, anyway. Uh... On Miraculous, it's gotten a reputation. I think most people who haven't watched it think of it as like a show for preschoolers, because that's the reputation it has acquired. Oh, it's not a show for. It, no, wait, it's not. So all it started all. out as an actually very well animated, like trope aware French magical girl show that avoided a lot of the really dumb shit that like Sailor Moon did, and that's what drew me to it. And then. They realized it was very successful, and they started milking it from season yeah. two onward. And that that's where I think it fell off hard, and because it did blow up so much with preschool audiences. Anyone can watch it, but it's marketable to preschoolers, so they're going to market it to preschoolers. Yeah. And uh, I think that that's kind of how that reputation came about. Well, that and probably those fucking game. weird YouTube channels that we talked about. Oh, the, uh, the Princess Elsa Spider-Man YouTube channels. Are they still going? People kind of stopped talking about them. I, I think the Copa thing helped. It didn't remove it completely, but it did help a little bit. And all it took was, uh, was for, was, uh, for people getting fucked over by it. I guess we can't have nice things anymore. Yeah. If anything is exploitable, it will be exploited for profit, and boy, are kids exploitable. And, and uh, controversially, there's no such thing as a perfect system. I, I lost track of it. Okay, now I know where I am, again. What, in terms of conversation, or... or no, I was trying to find the heel shack. Healing shack. 
is a little old place where we get healed together. Hill Shack, baby! Nurses. Because nurses rule at the Hill Shack. You know, did you know people have, uh, have like, fetishized, uh, healing? Have they? Like, yeah. In, like, in isekai fantasy context? No, no, and just in terms of, like, like, looking at, like, I started with Mercy from Overwatch, uh, because she was, like, a healer in, in that game. Yeah. And then just people wrote captions with her be like, oh, yeah, you, you want to be healed, don't you? Oh, I'm just, I'm just your heal slut. Call <laughs> the call, the call heals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I haven't explored much into that because that's not really my thing. I don't even find it disgusting or anything. It's just like, well, uh, that, it's not. I'm more into face yeah. sluts. But yeah, it's just, I, I it's apologize just like... for that pun. If it can be fetishized, it will be fetishized. Fucking Starbucks, like baristas being fetishized. Like a cup of breast milk. I mean breast milk. I mean bre I mean. Better be a rock type. I'm. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This is not an attractive looking Pokemon. This anteater thing. I get it because this its tongue is fire. A grass type. Do you have a fire type? I do. My type coverage has a big gaping hole in it. It needs to be filled quickly. I think, in theory, you had access to some grass types in the forest, but probably not any particularly good ones. All right, I am asleep. Let me. Uh, let me. I'm gonna bet the odds. Grass type Pokemon. Oh, did I ever tell you about the guy who uh, who rage quit a tournament? In what tournament? And, like in a uh, Pokemon Showdown. Oh, leech seed. Fuck. Uh, come on. I assume it was one of those legendary spammer videos. Uh, but it was not a spammer. It was a fucking like actual. Uh, like, uh, like, turn... Okay, cool. Incinerate, please. Thank... Oh, still alive. Alright, so, uh... So... The guy just kept on having bad luck. He got kept on getting flinched and stuff. And he made... He wrote... He, like, said, Enjoy your fucking trophy, dude. I quit. And then he wrote a big, long thing on, like, the forum. Uh, which is, which, like, it was, my plan was superior, my play was superior, it just, I gotta, I gotta find it. Okay. Uh, I, because it was fucking hilarious. He's like, I will leave this place brimming with joy, filled with, with, uh, with, uh, distilled detachment, or something. It was very, very well written, for, for what it was. Do I, do I have to go back? Back to the front. You coward! You sir! You blind man! I'm looking for where grass Pokemon will be at. You don't have to. I I I, I could. This is funnier. It's funnier this way. It's a three-stage grass bug that isn't like Caterpie tier. In this gen. Next gen? No, in this gen. Oh, okay. There's a fungus mushroom. Oh, mushrooms are usually. Grass steel type. Grass steel mushroom? No, that's a. Grass steel is a different Pokemon from the mushroom. Okay. Alright. What is this? The fun of traveling around the world is having serious battles with a lot of Pokemon I meet. This is a totally optional route, by the way. Like, the way to go to the next town was just straight up from where we were. Oh, you're going. 
Futsal. Electric? Oh my god. Alright. I don't even have any rock types. Ground. Don't have ground either. Alright, here's what I'll do. I have rock slide on Fuggy, so, so that'll be... Rock is not super against electric. Okay, well in that case, I'll just fucking I'll just fucking stab him with my. Uh... Might be better to well, I don't know if it has a move that uh, if it has an ability that paralyzes you on hit. Oh, well, we'll find out. Sparkle slap. Hey, killed him one shot. That was it. Fucking dumb zebra. Oh, that's oh. the one you're talking about. Amoongus. Oh, Amoongus. Dun, 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 dun. It's grass poison. Not a particularly unique typing. Eh, you know, it's fine. Poison will not be buffed until uh, next gen with the addition of fairy. Are we fighting? I got it. Okay, what what type do you have? You have a fucking dragon type, I swear. I guess oh, that's that's their tell. Bird. That's their tell for if a trainer is going to use a type that's weird for the route they're on, is if they're a traveler, a backpacker. Yeah. That that, that makes sense. Uh well, razor shell. Oh, is this a legendary? Oh no, it's a... well, it's a dragon. I want to be an airplane! I'm just gonna run, and it's gonna jump. Oh, Water Pulse! I think that's pretty good, actually. It's a special type. I think 60 power can cause confusion. So better than Water Gun. Yeah, but is Water Gun special as well? Yeah. Okay, strictly better. Wait, 40... Yes, 60. it's strictly Yeah, you're better. right! Oh my god. Call out Ringle of the Ringles. Sorry, Ringa. <laughs> anyway, uh, how far till the next town? Here we go. It was basically a completely optional route. We didn't have to do anything that we did. Hello, J. Cool. What's up? Come here. Come here. It was vaguely it. threatening. Come here. Elisa, Elisa called and was asking me all about electric type Pokemon. What? She's the electric type gym leader. Shouldn't you? You should be asking her these things. Look, she she's underqualified for the job. Clearly. Like... Have freebies. some freebies. Free what? Potions? Ultra Balls. Ultra Balls. We're three gyms in and we're getting Ultra Balls? Yeah. How many Master Balls did you get in the Sword Shield again? Just the one? Just the one. It's just, just the one in every gen. Unless maybe there's some like weird... You got one for winning the lottery in the early gens. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Which um, obviously almost never happens. So. Is the lottery in the in the in the early gens as broken as the fucking lottery in Thousand Year Door? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think you could do that. Well, because how it worked is that you didn't pick your numbers. You had to have a Pokemon whose ID matched the number of the lottery, whose trainer ID. Uh, my mom, your mom, and uh, her mom all taught. What about our fathers? Are we just a generation of fatherless kids? Father, all the fathers die at the age of like 16 in Pokemon Verse. Oh my god. Wait, no, that's not true because. Wait. So if they. Wait. It is a weird trend where everyone has a mother but no father. I, I guess Pokemon training must have been like a male dominated job for the longest time. Can't be a Pokemon trainer and go out and like raise a family, but you can't be tied down if you're a trainer, even though Fly exists. 
uh, come back every. I don't know. I just I feel like you, you break the trend by uh, by instead of having a mother, you have a father. Yeah. It's your father. What happened to mom? It'd be nice. It doesn't even have to be like a manly dude. You just have him be like your glasses and look like uh, <laughs> look like uh, Madoka's dad. I don't even remember Madoka's dad. It... Uh oh. You're harassing an old dude. Gramps, we know you run the daycare. How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma. We're taking Pokemon away from people. Okay, thank you for spelling that out. I forgot what it is you guys do. It. You must have a lot of Pokemon. Hand them over. The old guy's like, no. And they're like, okay. Well, you haven't seen The Last of Us. Curse is foiled again. What kind of nonsense is this? What? He kind of looks like Walter White. <laughs> Fucking Walter White. Just looking at, like, a couple of people dressed as the Knights Templar. He's like, what is this? I think, uh, I think you guys missed Comic-Con. <laughs> Yo, Mr. White, are we being, are we being about, about to be a part of a Spanish Inquisition? Jesse, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> been harassed by a bunch of people with big R's on their, on their chests. Said they want my Pokemon. What's a Pokemon, Mr. White? Pokemon. Oh, it's a fighting type grass sheep. Alright, fighting team plasma. I don't think this even went to the pier. I, this wasn't even the way to the ruins. This was just a dead end with an item on it. I'm gonna kill you guys now. Here we go. I do like this battle theme. It's yeah. three time. Swinging. Your defense is. Is that it? Oh, I don't have Fury Swipes on this one. Shit. What a Whatever. big Waterfalls. waste of time this was. Oh, well, see, I told you an Oddish would appear. Okay. The one oddish in the middle of the desert, just near a puddle, just fighting everybody else to the death for it. Zen Headbutt! Uh, it's a physical psychic move. 80 power. It's not mm. bad. That's some type coverage I need. Oh, for Paprika. Uh, oh, but Paprika's a, 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 a special attacker. Shit. Psy Wave is one of those weird moves that deals randomish damage based on level. So that's not uh, great. Yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of it. More consistent. Could flinch. Yeah, like like most other, like, uh, quote-unquote dirty moves. Rubbish. Poison. Psychic is uh, strong against poison. Yeah. This thing doesn't evolve, does it? I, I just uh, remember. Paprika does. Oh, uh, great. There's a. Uh, you can also get the dark ground crocodile in the desert if you want one of those. I have I have one already. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'll probably get. I'll probably get. Uh, Uh, yeah, use your move in there, but... Acid! Shit! What are you doing? I'm just seeing how long we've been going. Oh. Alright, Oddish, what are you? A normal oh, wow. ghost type. That's why he's living in the desert. It died all those years ago, but it doesn't realize it's dead. A dead plant Pokemon. We haven't gotten that yet. We haven't? No. No, we, we have. We've uh, gotten fucking, ghost grass types, but not scared. one not one whose theme was like, you know, dead grass or something. Dead tree. Uh, the, the spooky uh, tree dude. I Revenant. guess, yeah. It's like a haunted tree. Yeah. Wants. You're not Whitney. Girl, 
Stop whining. <sighs> that went downhill fast. We'd better super run away. Yeah, speaking of uh, people being coward, it's an amusement park. Good idea. That's, I know where to find you now. One of my favorite moments of cowardice in video games is in Earthbound. After you uh, beat the first uh, sanctuary place location, yeah, uh, the, the the lead like a cop is like, "What are you doing there? Come to the police station." And then uh, you have to, in order to open up the rooms, you gotta beat like the uh, captain. But and so he's like, "Oh hey, I'll send five of my cops after you. You beat four of them." The fifth one's like, "Fuck this!" And he just runs away. Have a new bike! Yay, bike. I've always had it, but I never got around to, to riding it. I makes have a daycare on the third round. Makes me wonder why I spent that one billion dollars on the bicycle. Oh. Hey! How's the desert? Professor told me this city has a lot of things to see and do. Amusement park, big stadium, small court, battle subway. Three of those four things we don't care about. Those are like competitive <laughs> battle locations or something. Yeah. I'm going to the, see the Pokemon musical. God, is everything in this entire world Pokemon themed? Oh man, it reminds me of like movies where everything's based off their spe species. Yeah. Like the Mario movie, right? Remember, every, everything's like the dinosaur X, the dinosaur Y. Welcome to the, the Toad park. Cafe. Everybody, walk the dinosaur. Yeah, that's right. There's another Mario movie coming. I got special. I got to specify which Mario movie I'm talking about soon. Yeah. Bob Hoskins was a better Mario than Chris Pratt. Doesn't just, say, just saying. Yeah, because it got the accent down. He had the accent down. He, he, he doesn't have anything anymore. He's dead. Right, Pete? I wonder what the... <sighs> the, the... The... Luigi actor in the original Mario movie... Had, was, yeah, had... like, interviewed recently. I, I wonder if he's going to have any opinions on the new Mario movie. Why the fuck are you guys making another one? <laughs> the last one was terrible. What kind? What kind? You got illumination to do it, the minions, dudes? Are you guys such psychopaths? No, you got Charlie Day to be Luigi. What are you guys, meme lords? And wait, who's Mario? Chris Pratt? You're fucking with me. You are literally fucking with me. Like, Jack Black as, uh, as Bowser? Well, okay, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Seth Rollins is Donkey Kong. Seth Rogen. He's... Seth Rogen. Yeah, not Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins would be <laughs> a very different Donkey Kong. You get a, the lanky pro wrestler to be fucking... Okay. Henry Rollins is Donkey Kong. That would be a fucking dangerous Donkey Kong. Was was Henry the one who played uh, Zaheer? Yes, he was. He it's weird because I've also seen him as like a doctor in uh, in Johnny Mnemonic. Yeah, he was like a street doctor, and it's weird seeing him as that and him like talking like to that cyber priest. He's like, like I'm not telling you shit. What was the cyber priest? Oh, man, there was a lot of like, like, moderately successful act actors in that movie that I just somehow happened to know beforehand, like fucking Ice Cube and uh, Keanu Reeves. Uh, you know, moderately oh, successful actors like Keanu oh, Reeves. Well, at the time, they were. I was a. Like, was Ice Cube or Ice T? No, it was Ice T. Ice Cube uh, is the more threatening dude. Ice T is this is this sly dude who you you get you know would have your back. Uh, so because uh, you're cutting in and out again. That's just me talking. All 
All right, where's the gem? The gym is right next to the amusement park. Or it's in I'm the amusement guess, park, rather. I'm gonna have to guess we have to do something with Team Fu- Oh, hey, cool, they have, uh, they have American football. Oh yeah, good, because this is America. Is this the amusement park? Oh no, this is the musical. Are you interested in musicals? Oh, we're gonna see a musical. Shit. Amazing, isn't it? Sure. Hello, you two. How do you do? I'm the owner of this theater. Why? Why is it that everywhere we go, we just instantly meet the owner of god. said place? Oh, you're you're fighting a god, dude. We use props to make your Pokemon. Oh, it's back. Pokemon contests, Jack. Shit. It's the no, regional I... equivalent of Pokemon contests. I'm out. No, my inventory is tainted now. Oh, I, I, I have to do it. Okay. That Wait, he you. won't let you leave? No, he's press ganging me into, into doing Pokemon dress up. This is why people play Pokemon. Okay, can I can I do that without using the the mouse? No, I have to use the mouse. Oh, really? You do? Fuck it. Well, hmm. That makes things difficult. Okay, no, no, no you, you should you should just control it. Okay. You should just just zoom back in, and I'll tell you what to drag. It. Uh, I'm, I'm trying. You got to stop moving your mouse. I'm not. I am, I guess. Okay. There you go. All right. Okay. Uh. Uh. Pink ribbon. Oh, it's only on s and set spots too. Yeah. Glasses. That's it. Uh, that's good. That that that's perfect. All right, Pokemon dress up complete. You did a fit. Two of you did a fantastic job coordinating everything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we did. It was spur of the moment. How dare you make us use a touch screen? Yeah. Uh. Uh, crane over my keyboard again. Uh. All right, let's. All right, now how how does this work? It does. Do we require more? Do we require more touchscreen shit? Please no. I don't know what to do. Yeah, you do. Wait, that's not what a musical is, though. You just get random people off the street to participate. Oh. It's like, I'm gonna go see a musical, and I'm just like, okay, what role do you want to play? I'm just here to see it. Oh, that's boring. Daddy! The best kinds of musicals are <gasps> improv. I know this track! Yeah? This track is used a lot when, like, when, like, the spammers are on the, like, the losing path, and they're all sad. They're just ranting at the... At on the, the losing playing. path. <laughs> the losing path. The path to not victory that they have uh, made when they chose to make shitty plays. Daddy, what are you doing here? I've come to take you back home, of course. Your mother told me you'd made it all the way out here. Haven't you gone far enough? Wow, the one dad in Pokemonverse, and he's an asshole. Go away! I'm gonna keep traveling! Absolutely not! Others do things their way, and we do things ours. That's not an answer. Did we see him before? Uh, yeah, at the start of the game, she was trying to leave home, and he was like, No, you're not going on an adventure! <laughs> Burn! Sweetie, you keep going on your travels. 
Who do you think you are? This is a family matter. I don't care. Fuck you, guy. I am Elisa. I'm this town's gym leader. I also happen to be a model. <laughs> Imagine a guy, like, having a, an argument with a girl and an entire bank shows up and it's just like, Hey, sweetie, let me tell you how things are. Excuse me, I'm a model. You have to listen to me. Oh, I'm sorry. There are many people in this world. But your way of thinking may be completely different from yours. Sometimes this means you may get hurt. <laughs> okay. About the differences between yourself and others. Being different is okay. You shouldn't worry. Trainers always have Pokemon at their side. They're well, wonderful. Well, gee, this was a useful lesson until you brought Pokemon into it. We don't have those in the real world. Now, how, how, oh. how am I going to apply this to my life? Our, your world is a hellscape, sir. You eat your, your Pokemon? They're not Pokemon, they're animals. Meanwhile, I'm just fighting a bunch of gods. Odd killer. You know, if this was any other series, it would probably not be uh, resolved until, like, the very end. You yeah. have to have, like, missions where you help her get... There would also probably be, like, some substance to it of some kind. Not it's like, just... no, I said no. That's my reasoning, because I said no. Thank you, Tyra Banks, for, uh... I'm so glad there are models in this universe. <laughs> You know, Tyra Banks wrote a novel. Oh, shit. Hello. Emergency alert. Uh. Is, is Jack talking about Tyra Banks' novel? Fuck that. It's an evacuation order. Oh, for, for Battleground? Clark County, Washington. Uh, I, I guess, should I, should I do that? Uh, it says Clark County, Washington evacuation order. What, any details? Uh... Travel south towards Washugal River Road and into Washugal. Uh, you should probably do that then, if it's telling you to do that. Oh, okay. Darn. Is that a wildfire notice? I, yeah, I guess so. Shit. Okay, get, get shit you need and get and get the fuck out. Clark County, Washington. All right. Well, uh, this Pokemon Wait. stream is ending because of a, a local wildfire. Shit. Uh, yeah, save your, just safe. save your game. Yeah, yeah, well, hold on. Save my game! There's a fucking wildfire coming soon! Like... Hold on. God. An abrupt end? Yeah, Alright, yes, yeah, very I, tragic, I, Bianca. Yeah, uh, All right, well, that's that. Stream over. Stay, stay, stay safe, man. Yeah, I will. Thanks for watching. See y'all later.